fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm super excited today to share with you some new trays that I was sent. They look really interesting and I spent probably a week or so kind of playing around with them and testing them and seeing how they worked and I'm pretty excited about them. I think you guys will really like them and I, so yeah I'm just going to get into it. So these are both two of the same trays you can use them as a regular diamond painting tray but they were kind of made for people who do like tower storage or people who kit up into trays so as you can see they're pretty big let me grab one of my regular trays and you can kind of see the difference so roughly the same size from bow to stern but these are little special. So they are 3D printed. They are from a place called Ephemera 3D and they have a shop on Etsy which I will link below. But I thought it was a really interesting design. So you have your typical tray which is this section here with all of your lines and grids, right? And then as you can see on the back you've got these two little holes here because these two little pieces come out and you have little spaces that you could put trash drills or whatever you want to do with it if you wax or whatever that you might want to put there i'll get to the little knob in a minute they come with a lid and what you have over here is oh there's some drills in there is a a well essentially i guess so this is where you would pour your drills if you were kidding up it has a plug here that comes out so once you pour your drills in here you can pour your drills back into your container by removing that little plug so you put it in there to hold the drills in there but it also comes with this handy dandy little spout if you want to remove this and then put the lid back over it and pour your drills out through the little spout you can do that or if you need a little more fine tuning you can put this spout in here and it fits in this same little space you can see like that but it's got more of a funnel to it and then you put the lid back on to keep your drills and then you can pour this way i thought that was such a good idea i used this spout because i was basically just using this as a diamond painting tray and then when i was done with the drills i would just dump them through now how do they get from here to here you ask that's where this little part comes in this is a screw and I'm going to take the whole thing out because what you can see is that's the pass through. So the drills go from the well into here through this little pass through and you've got this little screw that screws in and you can decide whether you want this open or closed. So if you screw it all the way down, I don't know if you can see in there, but the screw is all the way showing in there. So it's all the way down to the bottom. So it's going to keep any drills from moving from one side to the other. If you want to be able to move drills from one side to the other, you simply raise the screw by unscrewing it and that will allow the drills to pass. So, for example, let me pour some drills in here. So I've got my drills in here. I'm gonna shake them down. I'm gonna diamond paint, do whatever I need to do with them. And now, if I'm someone who's using the tower method, what I want to do is just put them back in the well. So if I do this, because the screw is down, they don't go anywhere. But if I raise the screw up by unscrewing it, and then I dump, they're going to go through that little hole right there, and they're going to fall into the well. Now I'm doing this gently because I don't have the lid on it, but if I had the lid on it, just to keep my drills from going anywhere, then you can kind of shake them pretty. And then you just want to put your screw back down, and now they're in the well, they're not gonna go anywhere else. Now, like I said, if you want to dump them out, you can simply remove this part and dump them out that way, or you can put the funnel back in. It only goes in one way and I can never remember which way it is. I thought it was this way, but it doesn't wanna, there we go. So you can put it in like this and then just dump them out like that if that's what you wanna do. So if you're someone who kits up into trays, I thought these would be a really cool option. You just put your drills in there, Put your sticker on the side, on the front, wherever you want. And then when you're ready to go, you just raise the screw, dump some drills out. And when you're done, you just put them all back in there, put the screw back down, 
and you can stick it back in your tower or wherever you are working and you're done. Now these two are exactly the same. Now I will say these are very nice and smooth on the edges. Uh, Tyler, the designer of these, the, pro the guy that's selling these, he has made some changes to these already. These are kind of a version one that I got sent. So he's got some different options for these that you can check out on his Etsy store as well as he told me he is currently working on just a regular diamond painting tray that would be like everything else where it's just the side where you would be diamond painting from with the lines and ridges and everything versus having the little well attached where you're going to put your diamond painting drills. So let me just remove that. I'm going to put the spout in here if I can get it in there and then I'm going to pour these back into the drill. Now they are a little heavy but they're nice and sturdy so I like that and see here you go we just I think I got them all and then we check yep no drills left in there and when you're not using these you can store the funnel inside of here it will fit inside I think it needs to be laying flat like that but it will store inside that so you don't lose it and you can take out these two pieces if you want to as well and store them in there they should fit as well but I just thought these were some really well thought out kind of well planned diamond painting trays and I wanted to share them with you like I said he has already um, made some changes to it he's told me but I feel like they were just so cool that I wanted to share them with you so like I said I will stick a link to his Etsy shop down below I don't remember what the prices were I forget uh, but you can check them out if you are someone who gets up into trays I think this is an awesome awesome option I don't know how they compare size wise to like other tray makers but in testing them I felt like the well held plenty of drills I mean if you've got multiple bags of a color it's probably not going to hold that but it holds holds way more drills than you think it will and then having the ability to just kind of raise the screw and pour them back and forth from either side I thought was really kind of an, an ingenious solution for somebody who kits up directly into trays. You can use them to do regular diamond painting and you know pour your drills back and forth to your containers. It is a little more fussy to do it that way with this particular one so I'm really excited to see when he finishes kind of his basic tray what that looks like and I'm hoping that I will get to try those out when they hit the shop. So yeah that's it. Ephemera 3D printed trays. If you're someone who kits up into trays I think this is an awesome option. So yeah check them out. That's it for me today guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always guys Thanks so much for watching.